Now we're going to go ahead and talk about the East. Now I, I watched the first half of the, of, of the game, uh, K-Dub, and I did not expect, honestly, coming into the series, being that the Heat struggled so much with Indiana and Philly kind of after, you know, game six and game five, they kind of dispatched the Philly. I did not expect the blowout that it turned out to be, in my opinion. So uh, it, it looks like, and I want to hear your opinion about it. It looks like with Bosch out, they're kind of doing the whole Chicago thing with Pippen and Jordan. It was just that one-two punch. Do you think uh, with Bosch being out that Boston won't be able to withstand it when it goes back to Boston? I think game two is still a lock for Miami. What what you think about that? I, I think that last night was a, a, was a, a aberration. <laughs> I think that you did not see the Boston Celtics that you are normally – uh, wanted to see. Let me point some things out. First of all, in that game, both of the teams shot the same. They both shot 46, 46%. I think Boston will be a lot more comfortable in game two. Let me give you something. They just they just had a game seven 48 hours before this game one. Once they got out of out of the game, they, bought, they got a disc and a book on trying to prepare for Miami. And that's, I mean, you know, that, that's kind of hard to do to try to just change from an emotional game. We got to get this win to move on to now we got to go into game one. Hey, I don't care what you say about that, Dub. These guys are professionals. They've already played them how many times this season and beat them. They should be able to get on the court and play as soon as they get off the plane. I don't care what you just said. It's called, it's called being athlete. human. That's what it's called. What? Right. It got nothing to do with being a professional. It's called being human. Okay, but being human, these guys have conditioned now, okay? It's not, whose but, fault is it that it was a shortened season and that, th th come on now, really? It, it, when you're dealing with emotion, trying, you know, you're, you have, you're at this great high, okay, I'm playing in a game where if I lose, I'm going on vacation, but if I win, I got to get on this plane so we can go down to Miami and they have already had a big to rest and prepare, whereas myself, there's no practice time, so I'm preparing, basically sitting with a laptop on my on my lap on the plane trying to prepare myself. We haven't had any type of walkthrough or anything like that. But you have a Miami team that is a little bit younger. But listen, like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be a different story come game two. Trust me. I I I I, I understand something. Miami had LeBron James had thirty two and thirteen. You had Dwayne Wade at twenty two and seven. Who was the next um leader scorer? Battier had three? like a had a double double. Battier had, had ten and like, ten. Yeah, ten and ten, but who's Battier? Bat had nine points. <laughs> so <laughs> so so what you say? You, you had Kevin Garnett having twenty seven. You had Paul Pierce having an off game. He had twelve. Rondo had sixteen, seven, and uh, I want to say nine nine rebounds. Here's what I say about this series, and y'all, and I, I want the the show to to, to to comment on this. If what 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 will take Miami to get past this series is for LeBron to earn his ninety some odd million, and Wade to earn his ninety some odd million. They both have to show up game in it. They can't afford to have a bad game like Wade had against Indiana, and because. Because Boston is is that well rounded a team. I mean, the, honestly, other than Garnett, the best player on that team at Boston is Rondo and Bass. I get, I get, I, I agree with, with with Grizzly on this one. I think the fact that Chris Bosh is not there, I think that the Miami Heat have to have LeBron James, Dwayne Wade play out of their mind, out of their and, mind. Score, and score two thirds of all the points that the you know that the entire team makes, and still would barely have a chance to be Boston. I don't think that Miami is uh, an overall better team. I think Boston is a more balanced team right. and whatnot. But I think the okay. fact yeah. that – I think the fact – hold up, though. I think the fact that uh, Miami has the two best players in the world right now is going to carry them through. If they end up winning, it's going to be because of that. You know, I, I'm going to bring out the elephant in the room because nobody said it yet. Really? Five techs on Boston. Get out of here. The refs help with that game. I don't care what you got to say about that, but the refs help with that game. You give, hold, hold on. on. You give it down. Hold on. Tell me why Doc Rivers got tech. First of all. Tell me why Doc Rivers got I'm tech. I'm going to tell you. First of all, I don't like Boston. For real. Not, I, and that's fine. Right, tell so, me why no, Doc no, Rivers no, got With that being said, Kevin Garnett talks and initiates tell more stuff. Tell me why stuff. Doc Rivers got a tech. Because Doc is Doc Rivers. I don't Doc, know why he got attacked. Doc, but that goes, that goes on in any NBA arena. You Tell me why Ray Allen got attacked. 
I don't know. Exactly. You know, I mean, I mean, I'm, 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 you make a good point. I, 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 I know where you're going with it, Ruben, but, but I'm never going to be one to blame, to, the to blame the officials. But you know what? I understand it's playoff basketball. I understand one or two texts. Boston probably hadn't had five texts in a game get in, in like 20 years. Get in, okay, dog. Get I got in a in question this. for you, get, K Dog. Get in on us, it, dog. How do you feel? Uh, How you feel? Uh, well, hold on, hold on. That was absolutely right. I was going to bring that situation up. That was uh, that was that was crazy. First of all, them getting five texts. And to be honest with you, other than maybe two, I would say maybe the delay of game. Yeah. On the- Battier. Other than that, all of those other texts were ridiculous. Ray Allen didn't even say anything to the referee. He went and discussed and ran the other way. He got a text. Doc Rivers got a text for saying, come on. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I mean, we talking about five texts, we talking about five points. But when those texts <laughs> happen, five they points. change the, the course of the game. Let me finish my point. Now, what I can also att- attach to that, okay, that's about five points. I want to say they went um four for five on those uh, three for five on those particular free throws. But also, when are you going to have a game with Ray Allen shoot one for seven? A lot of times, your bench players are, are you know, your bench players, it, depending on whether you're home or away, will depend on the type of, um, you know, productivity that you get for him. You have Paul Pierce shooting five for 18, he only had 12 points. You have Michael Peters, 0 for one. You have Brandon Bass, 4 for 11. He shot more than Ray Allen. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of that? I mean, it's just the way the game goes. things you used to seeing with Boston that in this particular game you did not see. And, you know, with Miami being up, listen, listen, they only had two players in double figures. Let's keep it funky. <laughs> okay, so what? You're expecting the whole team to be in double figures? What? For Miami? Last, last, last time hey, I, I told you I'm a Heat fan. Last, last time I checked, there were only two people on the team. And essentially, somebody's gonna bust them in their face because they're only playing with two people. All right, let's 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 leave it there because I want to move on and talk about something else real quick. Heat it, real quick, Dub. When we come back here next week, uh, are we gonna still be talking about these series, or, or is it gonna be close to being over? Is somebody gonna take control of the San Antonio OKC series? Is someone gonna take control of the Miami Boston? Real quick on both of them, with the West starting first. Um, I'm unsure of how the schedule works out as far as what where it'll be by this time next week. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we we will be talking about that. I want to say uh, the San Antonio series should be about game five, and uh, next week the Boston series should be game five. And yeah, we will be talking about the E series. Um, not really sure exactly yet who you know who will be up at this particular point if we at those game fives. But we will be at Game Five. There will be no sweeps going on. All right, I agree. There's a lot I, of different adjustments in these Game Twos tonight and, and tomorrow. I agree. Uh, my 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 heart is telling me San Antonio, Boston. My mind is telling me San Antonio, Miami. Uh, so we'll see how it goes.